Hey friends, today, oh, I've got a hair headache. Ooh, my hair is hurting. Today we are going to do a video outside in Zygardam because there are some really cool things going on out there and some other things that I am like, hmm, why is that plant doing that? So I thought I'd take you guys along with me because maybe you guys will have some insight into what is going on with these different plants because I I have my ideas, I have my theories, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm curious what you guys think. So let's get out there. So I thought I would just flip you guys around and show you guys what's going on in the garden, my little tiny patio garden, and then we'll pop to the front and see what's going on in my small raised bed and other containers out there. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick overview of all the garden. Sorry, the whole garden. And then I will go through all the different plants and I will give you an actual rundown of what everything is. So let's start over here. This is our Ellison. All of them died except for this little beauty right there. So I'm a little bit bummed out about that, but at least we have the one and I'm grateful for this little plant. So this is what it is, sorry. There you go, some Allison. This is our ginger, which we planted a while ago. I am not seeing anything from these, this ginger. It actually looks like it's kind of been dug up a little right there. Oh, look. It's not even done anything. Stick that a little lower in there. Interesting. Keep our fingers crossed on that one. Got our blueberry plant here. Nothing's really going on with that. Got some mint. It's kind of old, not going to seed. I think I might try to harvest this seed. I've never harv harvested mint seed before. This is our artichoke plant. We are loving how beautiful it's growing. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but it seems to be growing. So we're gonna, again, keep our fingers crossed. This little guy right here, I believe is a sunflower that my son planted from some sunflowers that he got at school. This is also a blueberry plant. I want to combine that blueberry plant with this blueberry plant because apparently they do better together, but I'm waiting until I get a big pot for that. I adore this plant so much, but it's starting to turn a little yellow. It's moist, the soil is very moist, so I don't know. Does anyone know about lemon verbena? Does this go dormant and lose its leaves and then come back or am I killing it? very curious about that because I love 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 this plant oh is that I wonder if there's any more oh there's another one look weird I'm gonna pull those off because no thank you have you ever smelt lemon verbena if you haven't do yourself a favor if you love anything lemon scent Plant it and smell it, then make some tea out of it and all the other good things that you can possibly think of because this stuff is stunning. I just can't get enough of how good this plant smells. I just cannot. Oh, it's, it's sweet even. It's like intoxicating. If you've never smelt it, just trust me on this one. Trust me. All right, here we've got our tomatoes. So this is our only original tomato plant that we have from planting over like months ago and it's still giving us some tomatoes so we've decided to keep her she's also got another tomato here some more tomato plants in here to see what happens i know it's not warm anymore here in western australia so we're going to keep an eye on that this is more just an experiment this is the type of the tomatoes that i have it's just an experiment we'll see how it goes i'm very sad about this plant my ground cherry Guys, I don't even know what's happened to it. The ground cherries are falling off. I think these are all just papers here, yeah. So I don't know what's happened here. The ground cherries are, you know, struggling. I don't know if I've just, oh, it's overwatered because I water it, plus it's been raining. I kind of feel like that's probably what's been happening, but do you see the, you see though, it's like just dying, like totally dying. And these ground cherries, like the first couple that I got off were like so delicious. These ones, however, are not delicious. So, sorry, ignore the dirt in my nails because I've been digging in the plants. So, they're just not good anymore. 
So really bummed out about that. But I will be trying ground cherries again next year. And I'm going to try and not water them quite as much because these are just, that looks promising. That's a yellow color. Uh, this one's actually been eaten on, so a bit energy. Moving on to our cucumber plant. It's doing okay. This is also not the season to be growing cucumber, so this is literally just a test. Why not give it a go and see if we can get it to grow? That rhymed. Then over here, we've got our sweet potato plant, which I believe when it, the leaves turn completely yellow, that's when you harvest. Is that correct? I'm having to look into this because these leaves are definitely changing. I've got some garlic chive here, which is delicious. I have it in the salad all the time. And normal potatoes in here. I feel like the potato in here is just rotted because I don't see anything sprouting. So I don't know. We'll leave it a bit longer and see how we go. I already told you that was a cucumber. That is a rhubarb plant here, which I thought had died and it has not. So I'm very, very grateful for the rhubarb plant. Over here, we've got some okra, I believe. Okra? It's been raining a lot. So these, these are very wet. Bits. I don't know whether I should probably, because this is starting to turn yellow. I don't know whether I should cover these up and let them just have a minute to not have water on them all day long. These are radishes, which are doing a spectacular. I kind of want to pull one up and see what a little radish looks like. Just out of curiosity. Okay, that, that just broke the plant off. I have regrets now. These are doing amazing. These are our sugar snap peas, and they are already getting quite a lot of sugar snap peas on them. So that's going to be very lovely. I think I'm going to try and get another trellis so they can grow up on both sides. Cause you see here, like these are grabbing on here on this side, but these, this side doesn't really have anything to grab onto, so. Whereas these don't really seem like they need a trellis, like they're just gonna grow up. So I think I'm gonna take this trellis out and put it carefully in here. Hopefully this is a good idea I'm having here. All right, what I've done here is I've taken these three plants here and kind of helped them to be able to grow up on this trellis here. I stuck two sticks in the middle. I don't really need two, I only need the one. But I'm gonna stick them both there so that it has extra support to grow that one up. And then I have these three in the back are up against this trellis here. So, fingers crossed that was a good idea. Where are we at? Oh yes, yeah, so here on these yellow beans here, they look like this. These are growing smashingly. And I think we're even getting a couple of beans there. So yay, yay. This one I'm very excited about. This is our cantaloupe. Oh, look. Looks like we're getting a little cantaloupe. Right there too. That is so exciting. That is very exciting. Hopeful, happy. A little asparagus here that I keep on meaning to take out of the ground and transplant. I don't think it's getting enough sun. Banana plant. I don't really know if this pot's big enough for this guy, but you know, is what it is. All an experiment, all of it. Every last plant in here is to experiment to grow my knowledge. And there we go, that is the backyard. That's what we've got going on in the backyard. I mean, it's not a whole lot, but I feel so grateful in my heart and I'm so hopeful for these plants. Oh, so good. Let's go to the front now and see what's going on there. The front of the house gets such better sun. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot better out here. This is my lemon grass. This is my cauliflower. It's purple variety. I don't, I think I have too many cauliflower plants in here. I think I probably should take out a couple, but I've never grown it before, but my brain is kind of telling me it's, it's probably like cabbage, where it's gonna be a huge plant. We'll see, <laughs> we'll keep an eye on this. Sugar cane, it's doing very well. I want to repot that sugar cane as well. The strawberries, the three pots of strawberries that we did, this one looks completely dead. These two look like they're hanging on, but they're not really doing much of anything. So this one's got a lot of new growth down there. 
We're hopeful. We're hopeful. Over here we've got our lemon thyme, which is doing really well on the ground. It, you know, I, I read online that this plant is very durable and it does well in lots of different soils, so I'm very excited about that. But one thing I'm super excited about is this garden bed because it is doing really, really, really well. I am so excited about these leeks. I really want to make something out of the leeks and the cabbages. These are my cabbage plants and they are doing very beautifully. So we've got, looks like one, two, three, four, or maybe these are cabbage. I'm not sure if these are cabbage or, yeah, I think these are cabbage because they look more like that than they do that. So I think we've only got one, two, three, yeah, so these three plants here, that one, that one, and that one are butternut squash or butternut pumpkin, whatever you want to call it. These right here are Chinese cabbage. I need to definitely thin this out for sure. These right here are leeks and these here are another variety of cabbage. I think it's called sugar loaf. Yeah, sugar loaf. So there we go. That's what we've got. We've got this little plant who keeps dying and wanting to come back. A very hardy plant here. We've got our canes, which are not doing great. Guys, to be honest, I haven't been amazing at watering these plants, so that's on me. This plant, this plant has really died. I just have not been good at watering it. It's a lily pilly, but we've got some new growth here, so. Oh my gosh! Do you guys see that? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I want to keep them. I'm like, what bird is that? I bet it's a willy wagtail. Because I have a willy wagtail that's always coming up here. I cannot believe a bird laid eggs in my little balcony tree. We need to water that tree though, because it is not looking cute. This plant I killed as well. Such a bummer, 1797, gone down the toilet. And, and then we've just got this succulent, which is doing fantastic. Look how beautiful this plant is. It is such a beautiful plant, stunning. And then again, this is not doing well, totally on me. Guys, I don't think about watering up here. I just don't, it's very annoying but I need to remember. So we've got our, um, what is this called? Aloe vera, which is doing really well here. I would have thought it would love the sun, but this plant in particular does not love the sun. It loves the shadows. It loves the shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and water all of, I'm even gonna water this guy. You never know. I mean, the, the actual like plant itself, like this part does not feel dead at all so i'm gonna be hopeful i'm gonna be hopeful and water this and hope for the best i almost threw out this plant when it looked completely dead and i gave it a second chance and i really focused on watering it and look it's beautiful now i thought it'd be kind of cool to show you guys the potatoes i'm actually looking at one of them right now the sweet potato that's not looking so good it doesn't feel soft. Oh, actually, no, it does. <gasps> no, the potato is totally rotten. Bummer. I feel like, how am I not noticing my plants and things before that it's too late? How, how very unaware of me. This one is fine, this potato, and if you can see right there, it's got the tiniest little sprout ever right there. But we need some more water in here. I don't think this is the best way to sprout a potato. I wonder if I stick these potatoes. See, this has got a good sprout on it. Look at that one. That's pretty good. But I wonder if I stick these in the dark, if that would sprout them even better. I'm wondering. Let's try that in just a minute. But I want to grab out the other potatoes and look at them because I haven't looked at them. Nice. Guys, look at this. Do you 
see that sprout? That is nice. Happy with that. Look at the apple. I think that was red when I stuck it in there. Ooh, that's gone off. Gross. Even the sweet potato though has got a sprout and sprouts. Love it. And all of the other potatoes have sprouts. Very cool. Well, I'm going, oh, and I just knocked one of the sprouts off. Well, I'm going to leave these potatoes in the dark for like another week. I'm also going to put these with water in there and then we are going to plant up all, all of these potatoes. I made a ton of hot cross buns last night and I was up until like 2 a.m. Totally worth it. I would do it anytime my kids' class needed, needed that because I love them and I love to help out. But I'm so tired today. So I'm kind of grateful that this video is very short. All right, if you can see, we've got our potatoes back there and we've got one with the water right there one right there and then we're just going to shut it off the light and we will come back and check on that next week and then next week we'll come back and plant all the potatoes up i think i'm gonna pot this guy though why did i just smell that i just smelled i think i'm gonna plant this guy because he's looking a little worse for wear and i also i also noticed that this guy is looking a little sad so I think what I'm gonna do, I need to get a pot for this guy. <gasps> Look what I just noticed. Oh my gosh. These are raspberries in there, by the way. I think I'm going to, yeah, Those seed. are raspberry seeds. Uh, wait, gonna, raspberry seeds? Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is plant this pot in here, and then when this pot is no longer being used by this plant, I think I'm gonna put this plant in that pot. I think. Maybe I'll stick this in a different pot that I have. Decisions, decisions. Anyways, I just want to thank you guys so much for joining my video and I will see you guys on Monday with another video in the kitchen. So I will see you then. Monday in the kitchen. Bye friends. I figured out, I figured out the bird that has the nest in the yard. I'm not sure what kind of bird it is though. I thought it was a Willy Wagtail, but now I'm not sure. Don't worry, Mama. I'm not going to touch your babies. Don't worry, Mama. <laughs>